Alright, now it's time to return to Sabine. Hopefully the, ki the entire kingdom didn't burn down while I was gone. Is something wrong? It's... quiet. Could it be that everyone has just retired for the night? It's, it is nearing nightfall. Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, I've just never heard, heard it this quiet before. It's kind of scary. We'll escort you to the castle just to be safe, alright? Really? This is more than enough. I really appreciate your help. Well, you don't have to accompany me any farther. But we shall. It's too late to make a trek back to the tower. Princess Astra also needs a place to sleep. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, let's get going. Yep, completely locked. I don't think I can even use the item shops. Nothing different from the snow peoples. No one... It's locked. It's placed under martial law or something? Why is it locked? Something really seems off, Snow. When you left, was there anything wrong? Everything was just fine, like just like it always has been. Regardless, something is off. I can feel it too. It's like this overwhelming fear of something, like the unknown. I don't understand why though. They've never been afraid before. What if my advisor died or something? What if something happened because I left? Snow, calm down. Is there another way to get into the castle? Maybe this is something in there that's happen in there that's causing all this. Yeah, there's a secret entrance to the catacombs that my advisor told me about. It should be near the opening to the waterway. I'm pretty sure I can remember the spell to open it back up. If you miss the child's cornet or the scary mask, it'll actually, I think it'll be located outside. You'll definitely need to get it in order to survive the next boss. This next boss will make Laurel look easy. And judging from the walk uh, from the old and new walkthrough, it looks like they even had to nerf the, the second boss. All right, should be right here. All right, I think I can still do this. Whew, easier than I remember. This will lead to the castle? As far as I remember, I haven't even been here since I was a little kid. But now I've been told that phantoms have appeared down here. My guards are supposed to get rid of them, but they always return. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm not worrying. Let's go. He's okay, I can leave whenever I want to get uh, some healing at the statue. That's good. And if I run out of MP healing items, I can always just kill the phantoms in the first dungeon. Alright. Whoa! Alright. This one... Weak to fire and earth strong against wind. So I might as well just have her normal attack this one, or better yet, just use the child's cornet just in case. Or not, huh? Well, that works. I guess as long as you know the weaknesses, you might be able to finish them off. So that guide really helped. All right. The heck is that? A defense gem. Might want to give it to Snow or Hiante. All right. This is the he this is the this is a convenient place to heal and make the enemies respawn in case you're having trouble. 
Candles are lit. You can't seem to put them out. Oh, I can still sell, sell stuff here. Not that it matters because there's nothing to buy, I think. Alright, got magic gloves from that. Alright, this one's Eris Enchant. What does that do? Increases magic of all party members. Alright, good. At least one person is asleep. That might come in handy for the next boss. A sweet ton- two sweet tonics. Alright, this is a dead end. I better explore somewhere else. The tombstone reads Prince Orion. Died while a teenager because he foolishly went off alone and drowned. Poor young child. Tubson reads King Louis the Twelve. He didn't do anything great, but he didn't do anything terrible. Died at the age of 84 after firing 20 children. Tubson read, died so young but not young enough. King Edward the Eleventh only accomplished one thing in, on his reign. He made peace with the dreaded rabbits. Tubson reads, Lady Amalia, the Eleventh Queen. She outlived her husband but died a few years later because of bad food. Tombstone reads, Lady Eleanor never made it to being queen. Queen Amalia's younger, uglier sister went off the battle one day and had died. Poor young soul, rest in peace. She looks like she wants to tell you something. Listen, switches are pieces of carpet on either side, though your feet alone will not press them. Something heavier should do the trick. Do you need to reset? No. I didn't even start. Alright, that's one. You found Catacomb Key. So you smile at you for a job well done. Ugh. All right, what's in here? Ethers. Whoa. This is this must be another book. Rock Bludgeon. This should be for Hiante. Hiante took the book and flipped through it. Hiante learned Rock Bludgeon. Bludgeons all foes with a combo of rocks and strikes. I can't remember, is this the one that confuses enemies? Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's supposed to add, it's supposed to inflict status effects onto the enemies. Well, I'll, fi I'll, I'll, fi I'll know for sure in the next battle. It's locked and you have a key. Alright, new sword for Astra. Quite an attack boost there. Energy rain. Does that target all enemies? I can't tell. The descriptions don't always give. Uh, uh, don't always go into detail.
It's locked and you have a key. Unlock. It won't budge. I guess I need a different key, and it's probably this way. Tombs of Reese, the nameless first queen. Older than her husband, she ruled alongside him and helped the kingdom to thrive. She brought out the magic in everyone. There appears to be a switch. Do you want to flip it? Am I supposed to flip it yet? Let's leave it for now. The nameless first king. He founded the Sabine kingdom and went and it thrived in its early days. Oh, do we wish for a nameless king to return, if only. The first princess star. She was a visionary and delighted in s staring at the stars. Her life was tragically cut short by an assassin. She has joined the stars now, forever immortalized. Wipe off the cobwebs? Clean. A switch is under all that cobwebs. You flipped it. Alright. Flowers smell nice. Is there something um, inside them? Look, you found a switch. You flipped it. Read this note. The phantoms have grown an alarming rate. I've set up the bars to prevent their escape, but I fear it will not be very effective. There has to be somewhere the phantoms are coming from. I wish I could find it, but I can't. There are three switches. One of them made in flowers. Flowers like her blush. The other on the oldest ancestor, and the last on the forgotten maiden. You can escape with that. Alright, so I do have to- I don't- there is no specific order for the switches. Might as well flip this last one. Found Revive Herb. Alright, that should be- uh, that should be- uh, it hopefully do these statues have anything to say? No. Okay, now this I think this enemy is unique, so I'm gonna save right here. Alright, let's fight this unique enemy. I'm just gonna. Ch I think it has really high hit points, so I'm gonna treat it like a boss and just weaken it. Alright. Okay, just. I have no idea how many stats effects I inflicted on it back there. Huh. All right. Uh oh. Do the boogie. Oh no. Okay, I won. One experience, really? Oh well, at least it always drops a sweet tonic. That could be a good way to farm it. Oh, and here's a magic gem. Alright, this place. There is probably a boss around here somewhere. First, I better grab this tome. Now hit, Snow can also use a, a, a hit all attack. Alright, that was Flamatome. Now I have to go for this hidden passage and grab some stuff. Whoa. There are papers to repeat, but they're in a language you cannot comprehend. I wonder if coming back... Dig. 
Ooh, sword. All right, and that seems to be it. All right, blind edge. <laughs> blind your foes with your sword. Doesn't look like it'll be as powerful as the other one. Oh, something fell in the other room. That's gonna be a trap. As soon as I pick it up, I try to pick it up, it's gonna trigger the boss fight. I think. It's been nailed shut. You can't even read the name inscribed on the plaque. All right, here it goes. This really tough boss. Did this just fall? I don't think it was there before. You found Castle Key. Prince Snow, do you see something? Uh-oh. Princess, Princess Esther, step away! Ah! God, Hiante, call him off! What makes you think I have anything to do with him? That's racist! You would trespass on sacred grounds after what your king and queen have done? You who would seek to escape, I will slay all of you! What are you talking about? For the sins of your king and queen, what they've done to my family, their kin and subjects shall be slaughtered. Snow, what if this thing is what's causing the phantoms all over the catacombs? But we didn't do anything to you. Who the hell are you? Burn my ancestors, burn my children's sacred corpses, ousted him from his throne, not for that bastard to take. You have the same eyes as that witch. Why, you're her son, are you not? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Once I slay you, that witch's protection will be gone, and I can enter the castle unheeded and slaughter all of you who ousted my son from his throne. No, I won't let you do that! Good thing he doesn't know that Snow already died once, or he'd be charging right in there. Two children and a dead man can do nothing to sway my plans. All right. Even though this isn't, even though this isn't even my first time playing the game, this guy's giving me a lot of trouble. Holy crap! Ah. Uh. All right. Yeah, I better... Uh. His art, yeah. Even I, even if I reapply the bus, it doesn't extend the duration at all. That that kind of sucks. Uh crap. Shit. 
Oh man, this guy will just just won't quit at all. Oh man, this is a disaster! How am I supposed to keep up with all this shit? Alright, poison? I guess I better reapply poison and hope for the best. Holy crap. Wait a minute, they can heal? Oh crap, I did not see that coming. I didn't know they could still heal even while in that status effect. What the? I can't even keep track of how many buffs are on these guys. Hmm. What would be the best way? Alright, stunned! <sighs> Holy crap. I am slowly willing this guy down. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's throw an ether at Snow just uh, or Hiante just in case. Yep. All right, stunned. Haha. -ha. Uh oh, I better go. I don't see an attack down on him. Huh. All right. Oh no. Screw you and your allies, seriously. Yes. Yes! Yes! Oh! Uh, this time I did. I don't think I, anyone fell in battle either. Yes! This guy is definitely one of the tougher bosses. Even if you use the debuff items. Ah.
Why didn't he disappear like the phantoms do? Because he isn't a phantom, he's a reanimated body like I am. So then you do know him. Someone should teach you the basic of necromancy. Just because he and I are dead and reanimated does not mean we knew each other. Is he going to get back up? I can't be sure. We should show him back where he came from. Why is he so heavy? Because people are heavy, Prince Snow. Now come on. Alright, I have it fr from here. Only one of us can fit up there anyway. I have a question for you, Prince Snow. Do you have any idea what that was about? I, if I did, I would have blurted that out. Did your parents ever take over, over the front from another king or queen? No, we've always been here. Perhaps then this is a question for your advisor. So long as he isn't dead or something. Let's be a bit more optimistic, Snow. Ooh, that was intense. I'm pretty close to leveling up again. Yeah, I, I, I was... Even though I was one or two levels over-leveled, I, I still had a tough time with that boss. And I heard the offer even nerfed it. So, yeah, that does... <laughs> yeah, I guess I really need to step up my game or else. All right, make sure you're healed up before going, uh, uh, continuing into the castle. You'll get into a mandatory fight. It's fairly easy, but still, you don't want to be at like one hit point for it. What? Where the hell did you come from? Just kill him. He's got to be the one making the ruckus down there. Yeah, that's not very nice. And also, these guards look a lot like inebriate. If these guys are golems made from clay, does that mean they're resistant to earth damage? We'll see. Well, not like it matters. They died pretty quick. Ugh, what was that about? Prince Snow, have they ever attacked you before? I've got to find Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god, you're alive! We thought you for sure you had died. What the hell is going on? What do you let happen to my kingdom? You're blaming me? You know what happened to your kingdom? You did! I can't believe how stupid you are. You ran into the fields and then get yourself killed. What? I'm still alive! You died just enough for the spell to break, the link to sever. Now look at everyone. What? Your parents manipulated this kingdom so that everyone would be one with you. Therefore, no more wars, no more fighting. All we had to do was keep you safe and happy. That only works if you don't run off and die. Now that the link your parents created has been severed, your kingdom has returned to what it was before. Scared, frozen, confused. Just like the first night we arrived on this damn island before you were born. They have no idea who the hell you are. Wait, what do you mean? You never noticed because your parents had another spell on you. One that made you ignore that the townspeople haven't changed in years. The people of your kingdom are exactly as they were before we set foot on this island. No one has grown old or died since we were invited to stay here. Now, now that's all broken. Why the hell didn't you tell me any of this? Maybe if you said that this wouldn't happen, I wouldn't have left. Do you think you're the only one your parents put under a spell? I couldn't say anything until your spell broke or, or wore off. Don't you think I wanted to? Your parents should have just told you, but they wanted to retain your damn happiness so that everyone else retain, remained happy. But no, even when they went off and died, they decided to leave you in the dark. Now the kingdom's been disconnected from you, it's going to start crumbling. Why do you have to screw this up so much? I was just trying to help my kingdom. No, you weren't. You just wanted to help a pretty girl. She didn't even need saving, and all you did was leave your kingdom to die. When are you going to grow up, Snow? I wouldn't have almost died if that thing hadn't attacked me as soon as I left the forest. You mean Laurel? Laurel was someone to keep us safe. If he attacked you, something must have gone wrong. And if you had listened to me, th that would not have happened. 
What are you going to do now? Without that link in place, the kingdom and everyone in it will start to freeze to death. I can figure this out. Really? And how? No one in this kingdom is going to trust you, no matter what I say. I know I can. I just need some time. And we don't have time, Snow. Are you going to start listening to me now? You know what I have to do? You, you have to fix the link that broke. I can only hope we can do it without your parents. You have to go up to the sepulcher and use the magic there to create a new link. Sepulcher? It's a very, it's been a very long night, Snow. You need your rest if you're really planning to fix all of this. We can get started in the morning. They won't freeze over the night, will they? No, Vera has her magic helpers out putting warming charms all around the castle and the town. She can keep this up with her assistance for a little while longer. But after tonight, we have to work fast. Alright. So you're Astra? Oh. Yes, that's me. I remember when you were a little girl. Has the tower been holding up well? Of course, Hiante and Irio helped a lot with that. That's a relief. I'm glad they're able to help you. I'm sorry that Snow dragged you into all this. When morning comes, I can have a transport arranged to take you home. It's alright. Snow didn't drag me here. I just wanted to make sure he got home safely. Yes, because he can't survive on his own very well. That's not what I meant. You are welcome to stay here for the night. I can have the guest room arranged for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, Astra. I shouldn't have dragged you here. Richard, I'm serious. I'm fine. After that verbal action you gave me, I'm surprised you even care about that. That was my intense snow. I, I was just angry. Besides, Astra's our bodyguard, Irio, healed me up already. If you hadn't harmed so much that the Link thought you had died, then I need to be sure. Besides, Demon shouldn't be healing people anyway. Demon? Yes, he was a demon. Now hold still and make. let me make sure he didn't do anything he shouldn't have. What do you mean? Demon magic is harmful to people. If he healed you up from the brink of death, I need to erase the demon magic from your wound. You said we were invited to stay here. What did you mean by that? Snow, that's all I can say about that. Why? Your parents still have me under a spell which makes it so I cannot talk about certain subjects. That's one of them. When we were coming up from the catacombs, did you hear any commotion? I think so, but the guards told me that phantoms have been acting up down there lately, so I d it didn't really think of any anything of it. There was one thing down there like Hiante. He said that my parents did something bad, taking the throne from someone else. How we burned his ancestors. All of my ancestors' bodies are down there, and now I learned we were invited to stay? Can't you tell me about that? Snow, I can't tell you right now. When you come back from the sepulcher, I promise I will. If all goes as planned, the spell on me will be lifted by then, and then I can tell you everything. Alright. What was that thing that attacked us? Can dead bodies just reanimate themselves? If I recall, your parents brought him back before Hiante, but he kept trying to attack them, so they tried to seal him up in the catacombs. Afterward, they found Hiante somewhere in the paths leading to the western tower. When does the magic wear off? I wouldn't know that that was your father's area of expertise. You, can tell, you can't tell me about the sepulchre now, can you? You're exhausted, I'm exhausted, I need to gather my thoughts on the subject before I end up yelling at you again. We'll be fine for the night, don't worry. There, I've made sure that demon magic won't screw you up. Thanks, Richard. I'm sorry for yelling you earlier, Snow. I shouldn't have done that. It's alright, I would have yelled at me too. I'm going to be sleeping in the sleeping quarters today if you need me for anything. Just come get me. Don't you usually stay in your room? The guards and magic helpers don't want me to leave lately. The sudden change they're afraid and now you've made them more afraid. I wasn't aware I could strike fear into people. When Vera originally made them, they were taught not to trust anyone they didn't know. Now they don't know you. That spell just screws everything up. Indeed. 
It's a pity you lost your white cloak. Yeah, but I think I'll just keep using the red one. You don't have to find another one for me. Alright, I'm sure it's able to keep you warm enough. Good night, Snow. I'll explain more when you get up in the morning. Okay, good night to you too. Hey, someone is still up. Oh. Uh, good evening, Astra. I thought you had already gone to bed. I couldn't sleep. Do you mind if I sit down? I don't mind. Do you want me to get you something for that? I'm sure there's something in the castle that can help. No, no, it's alright. I'm usually up at night because I, you can't see the stars during the day. What are you doing in here? I don't think this is the, this room is the warmest to sleep in. I couldn't sleep either. Oh, do you know why not? I don't know. Don't worry. Is it a nightmare? I had them when I was younger, but Irio helped to get rid of them. I'm sure I can convince him to help you if you need it. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You really should take her up on that offer at some point. You know, when we stepped into the castle, I had this wave of nostalgia come over me. When your guard showed me the guest room, I remembered. I used to stay here when I was growing up. In fact, I think I remember playing hide and seek in the castle with you. Really? Yes, from what I can remember, we were together at the hip until your parents took us to meet someone near the western tower. Now that you mention it, I do recall a blind girl I used to know. I don't remember why you left though. I don't either. I just remember after we met that person, they took me to the tower. Why did they choose you, though, to go up there? You were really young. I'm not sure. They just took me to the tower and I met Hiante. They explained what I had to do and left me there. Irio was summoned when I told your father I was having nightmares. Were you alone often? No, Hiante and Irio were always there, and even your mother would constantly visit me. She'd say that she didn't think I'd learned proper manners from Hiante or Irio. Something about a maternal touch was needed. She did? Yeah, why? I don't remember much of my parents, actually. My father was always away and my mother had to deal with everyone while he was gone. Richard mostly took care of me. Ah, so him being a jerk comes from some kind of fatherly instinct towards you? Uh, must be. I think I caused him more problems than I should. I think it was a tad mean earlier. I mean, blaming you for all that happened? She should have convinced your parents to tell you about this. I think it's more their fault than anyone else's. Hey, Snow. Hmm? If he makes you go alone to wherever you need to go, can Hiante and I come with you? What? Why? I've already borrowed you guys enough. I just want to make sure you don't get into any more trouble. Seriously, you there's no way you could have soloed the last two bosses. You're going to need all the help you can get. Oh, come on. I'm not that weak. I didn't mean it like that. Even though I didn't need to be rescued, it took a lot of guts to try. I mean, you tried without any of your soldiers. It's only right that I help you now. But you already did. You got me back here safe and sound. Aw, oh, come on. I need to break my duties at the tower. You already seen how I kick butt. I can really help you if, there, if any more trouble arises. I doubt that Richard would let me take you and Hiante along. Sure, the prince. If Richard doesn't like it, tough luck. You don't even need to ask him. You can just come back to the tower after I get back and we can head out from there. Are you sure? I don't want you to go out of your way to help me again. It's no problem. Even with Hi even Hiante will be happy. He hates being kept up in that tower with no one to protect. Hey, is Hiante asleep? Nope, he doesn't sleep. He's reading his way through the bookcase in the guest room. Thank you, Astra. It's no problem. Princess Astra, are you really going to leave him? Only for a little while. Hmm? He's going to meet us at the tower and then we'll go with him. Ariel is going to have something to say to that. I can just picture it now. Well, no one said you had to come. I figured you and I could do with a break from the tower. Yes, it does sound nice. Besides, the prince is going to need all the help he can get. Now, now, no more teasing. Princess Astra, Sir Hiante. 
Please do not fall behind. We must make haste back to the tower. We do not want to get stuck wandering the fields at nightfall. We're coming, don't worry. Snow, are you ready to set out now? What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. Um, did you already send Astra and Hiante home? Yes, we did. You already borrowed them enough for now. Ah, uh, yeah, then I'm ready. The entrance to Sepulchre is north of Sabine Forest and east, uh, past of the Eastern Tower. Past the Eastern Tower. There's a shrine there in which a guardian watches over. Go to the top of that and you'll be able to access the Sepulchre. The guardian there will be able to aid you. Snow, when you get to the Sepulchre, you'll have to go to the main castle. In there you will find a room of two obelisks and a magic tablet. Perform the spell on the scroll and if all goes well, the link should be created again. How will I know if I find the right place? I don't think your parents decorated that castle of obelisks and magic tablets all over. What's the sepulchre for exactly? I can't really say. Your parents never told us the specifics. Snow, don't worry about what it's for. You need to focus on establishing that link again. I know, but... Is this really right? I mean, to force them into never changing... It's the same again and again. What we need to focus on now is ensuring our people don't die in this cold, alright? It's not ideal. What your parents did wasn't ideal in the least bit, however. There's no way you can survive without it. I get it, okay? Thank you, Richard. Good luck, Snow. Do I get any guards to come with me? I tried to convince them, Snow, but they aren't going to listen to me. I can't order them to help you. They only took orders from your parents. They'll always protect Sabine, though. Do you think the Guardian at the Shrine is going to be enough help? She should be, don't worry. Hell no, there's no way we can win with only two people in the party. Remember to pick up supplies from town. They may not recognize you, but you can still buy from them. Just don't do anything to scare them. They're already frightened enough. I promise, I'll fix everything. Richard, do you think this is the right way to do it? It's the only way we have. I hope you're right. Chapter 4, A Prince's Determination. Well, here I go. These guys do not like me at all. Damn. Go away! If she doesn't accept my help, she isn't going to accept yours. Move it, you're in my way! Why are you down here? It's not nice to creep around castles that you don't belong to. The heck? I'm sorry we never told you about the spells. We would have if we could, but magic is powerful stuff. Your mother was a master at it. Please remember to stay safe, Snow. We're here for you. Yikes. All right. According to guide, some of the items in the shop can be found in the next dungeon, so I might want to hold off on that. Who are you? I don't think you should be even be near us. Please, could you go away? I get so cold when you're around. Ugh. Good thing you'll always be on my side, healing statue. Ugh. Better be selective about what I buy for sure.
Don't talk to me. Fans will catch me if you do. Go away. You're such a curse. Uh, I can't talk to the... Okay. Showing me that means she'll get behind me and eat me like a phantom boy. Get out of my way. The heck is wrong with you people? Uh. Alright. Well, I'm not keen on selling things to you. Richard and Vera asks us nicely, so... We don't have much. Most of what you see here is for display only, but you can browse the stuff we do have. Are you interested in anything? Shop. Alright. Whoa, this stuff is expensive. And I thought I got a decent... I, I thought I, I was saving a decent amount of money, of money too. Huh. Alright. Heavy metal. Looks like this stuff... Most of the stuff is going to be available in the next dungeon anyways. Alright. At least for armor, at least, I guess. I'll just buy some weapons for now. Alright, oh, I, I only need a holy rod for him. Holy strike. According to this, apparently, holy and dark uh, elemental skills are really rare in this game. So, I won't really get many chances to use them unless they're IP skills. Alright. Well, at least, it, at least the pets are still nice to me. That's good to know. Um, I'm told I should sell IMC if you ask. Shop. Alright. I think I misused a few antidotes there. Hmm. Sweet tonic. I'm definitely gonna need that now that my hit points a little higher. Ethers, uh, it's, they're so expensive I might as well just farm them from phantoms. Plus the enemies in the next dungeon are going to drop bitter ether. Is that all? My tells you that uh, tells me that the boy living with us isn't even our own so our son. How do you react to that? Looks like this spell also erased everyone's uh, muddled everyone's memories about their family. I'm not sure where you are, but I appreciate you didn't come in uninvited. Oh man, really? What if I try again? On uh, different. Oh well. Huh. Sir, have you been here very long? It feels like I've known you since you were a child, but that can't be, as that felt like it was only yesterday. I wonder where the king and queen went. To go away suddenly like they did, it worries me. Alright, anything interesting to say here? Sorry kid, I have a policy where if I don't like the look of a person, I ain't selling them drinks. Probably a good idea to get a move on, you know if, you know what I mean? Everyone's such a jerk now. Uh, please don't go upstairs, I will beat you out of here if I have to. Yikes. We don't have any vacancies at all. Please don't go up there. If you have business in the end, you can fish down here, alright. Yep, that's why you have to. That's why you should dust all the silverware while you can. No one's gonna let you in their house now. Welcome, Traveler. I think you should leave. I feel a terrible aura from you and your presence has frightened everyone. Hello, Stranger. I'm not sure you're aware, but this is a private home and I do appreciate you coming in here uninvited.
All right. I can. It looks like I can re-enter the dungeon, but that's probably not a good idea unless I have allies. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I might be able to. Oh shoot! I don't think I can farm tinctures in the next dungeon. Let's see. Anyone up here? No. Don't. I think this is Richard or Vera's house. One of the two's. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here for now. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or subscribe.